halal guys, they were huge in New York street food before New York was really huge in the street food. It was almost entirely an immigrant enterprise and it was on the street and no one had branding and no one had a Twitter account. And the halal guys did that and became stars for it. It grew from very humble beginnings, one, two, three, four customers at the cars to now massive lines everywhere in the States. There was this fear, will the halal guys uh, be able to survive outside of New York City where it's so diverse? You ever went to the car at the corner of 53rd and 6th in Midtown Manhattan, like deepest, darkest Midtown, like, you know, office buildings everywhere, there would be a line that would stretch literally 100 feet. And there'd be people just waiting for their chicken and rice or their lamb and rice. I was born in Egypt. I am a veterinarian. I came from Egypt uh, to the United States. Like millions of people, I came here looking for better life, better opportunity. Somebody told me about uh, walking Vendor Street, so I got my own small bush car selling the hot dogs. The Halal Guys was started in 1990 as a hot dog stand, and it quickly evolved. Taxi drivers gave the feedback that, look, we want something more wholesome, more filling. We agreed to switch it to a car serving hot plate, consisting of rice, chicken, gyro. The reputation increased, and our customer increased. Gyro is ground meat that's stacked and put onto a spit that then rotates with heat on it that we slice into thin slices and then cook on our griddle to, to finish it off. And we serve it piping hot in either a sandwich or on our platter. Our chicken is halal. It's humanely raised a chicken. It is never frozen, always fresh. We get the chicken and marinate it between 12 to 24 hours with our spices, and then it gets cooked. Our platter starts with the fresh lettuce and tomatoes with basmati rice, and then we add the beef gyro or chicken and the pita bread. We have different toppings that we can add to the platter, like the green peppers and onions and jalapeno and almost baba ganoush. Uh, but what most people are gonna want is the delicious white sauce. The white sauce is just unbelievable. Nobody can replicate it. That damn white sauce, that is so good. I've seen people that come and load their platter with white sauce where you don't see anything. It almost looks like a white sauce soup. I was introduced to the Halal Guys by my brother-in-law, actually, who uh, first told me about trying this great cart in New York City. It was in the middle of the winter. I stood in line for about half an hour. I made the mistake that I didn't know how the hot sauce was. So I told them to just load it with hot sauce. There I am sweating, my wife is there like sweating. We took our jackets off. It was like we even opened the windows in almost zero degrees weather and, and, and we're eating this food. We couldn't stop. It was so hot, but it's just so delicious. When the opportunity came along and we found out that they are franchising, we decided that there's no one better to do this than big fans of the Halal Guy. My partners are uh, Sammy and Mohammed. Mohammed is my younger brother. Sammy is a longtime family friend. We opened our first store in East Brunswick in, in 2016. We are looking to open 18 locations in the next uh, four to five years. I used to come every summer, early 2000, to work at the cars. I work at every position of the car, from drill man to servant line to prep to cleaning the streets, everything you can imagine. So I used to experience seeing people from every different nationality stand in line for a plate of food. It was just something mind blowing for me and as I was young. I was in 16, 17 years old at that time. Middle Eastern food really is just starting to gain traction and so Halal guys really sees that opportunity. I love the fact that this was a way for Middle Eastern people to share their culture, to share their food with other people. Good food is uh, breaks the barriers between the people. About 90% of our customers now, they are not Muslim. America has a really weird and complicated relationship with Muslim people from all over the world. To have a chain of restaurants 
that is spreading nationwide that people love and to have the word halal right in the name of that restaurant. It's saying in no uncertain terms that we are neighbors and we live here just as much as you do and we love it here just as much as you do and we are trying to make the most of our opportunity just as you are. I was born in Saudi Arabia to Palestinian parents. I hope for my children to be able to have the choice that I didn't have when I grew up as an immigrant and the struggle that, that we had coming here. Um, I'm hoping to build a better life for them and, and more stable life with this business and with the French hat. I walk on the car till 2008, taking care of everything from A to Z. Every day I was scared. Every day it was more pressure on me, uh, thinking what this day gonna be. Our cars became one of New York City landmarks, and that's very cool. This is the result, you know, when you do something and you love it, you're gonna find a good result.